Hi guys, Bolt here once again with more Warno. We're doing a 3v3 here on Cyrus, one of my favorite maps, believe it or not. Yours truly is playing as the American 3rd Armored. We got UDT going middle as the Airborne, and we got American going right side as Berlin Command. Um, which is going to be an interesting side to look at. Um, American is a relatively newer player, level 8 on multiplayer. And yeah, you know, there are a lot of, a lot of lessons. A lot of lessons in this game. So, uh, American, if you're watching, you better not float points again, okay? Okay, buddy. We're gonna go on um, our point of view as usual. Occasionally, we'll go into uh, neutral mode. But our starter is quite simple. We got three sniper teams. One is tasked with going left side. This guy's gonna unload here. This guy's gonna unload in the forest. And then behind them, we have a couple of uh, man pads. Well, just one man pad, one chaparral, a PVAD, an HA Abrams. We got a command unit. We got Engineer Flash, engin uh, Fireteam AT, and another Fireteam AT that are tasked with going straight to that industrial area. Um, yeah, you might say, well, that's not really a lot of points. Well, that's because we have a couple units going left. So we have a Flash, Fireteam Flash, and a Dragon. We have a Stinger and a Fireteam AT. One of these guys comes in at Bradley, and they're tasked with taking over this forest. That is usually where I like to go if I'm going left, because that gives you the ability to strike from... Basically three directions if you hold the middle. You can really pinch and move this area and cut it off from this road and that road. But also just attack it from multiple angles, which helps you. So middle, Unity is doing really good with his airborne. Um, no surprise there. He's up against Hungarian and Sergei. Now, Rugener Gruppierung, I have built a deck with this. I have not played with it. But uh, that together with 27 is a lot of APCs that could be quite dangerous. Good hits with the uh, AT though, AT gem there. But yeah, meanwhile on the right side we have American um, just lining up his uh, Berlin, Berlin command units all over that place. A couple of Rardens there, some mortars as well. Interesting to start with mortars for sure. So our AT teams, they have made it to the area but they're not gonna last. I can already tell you that much. But I do decide to pull them out of the building and kind of just hold them here for as long as possible. Uh, we have our HA firing away at the Spetsnaz GRU. But yeah, the VMP2 and the tank back there, together with the Tungushka, that kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. Yes, but we still do have that HA there, together with some good AA. So we're kind of chilling. That plane is flying very well. Anyways, we have a fire team command going there. We have a Stinger, AT, Engineer Flash, and a fire team Dragon. They're all going into that forest. If I moved them here, I would have probably been able to take it. But we're going for a different type of game there. So, um, since American has this position kind of well under control, I mean, again, interesting units on loading area, but it's fine, he's new. Um, I basically tell him, push up until there if you do want to push your side. Otherwise, help out middle over here. Because pushing beyond that point is completely useless. Unless you plan to take Foxtrot, which is nearly impossible because it's so close to the enemy line uh, or enemy spawn that they can react instantly to whatever you uh, bring up on there. So Nighthawk coming in, dropping its GBU. That's going to be a beautiful kill in that command tank. Look at that. There goes that. And he uh, evacuates it. Probably because there was a plane that was coming this way. And also there's Radar AA. These guys, with the giant freaking missiles. These will one-tap any plane. And I want to use them. So on the left, our plan is evolving quite nicely. We have our Recon, AT, Sniper, Command, Engineer Flash, Dragon Team with a Bradley. That's a pretty good task force there. And uh, as you can see, we're kind of just working on enveloping this area. So we get another, another tank, regular M1A1. We get another Chaparral. We do have the only fob here. So we're trying to uh, defend it um, by keeping an eye on the flanks there. So I um, task American by taking over, or with taking over this flank here. So he moves a couple of uh, vehicles up, a Chieftain Mark 10 and a couple of Rardens with the 30 mils. That T-80 BV is going to be a bit of an issue. Yep, that just one tap that tank. And the Rardens are not going to have fun either. They're just going to get one tapped. But it's fine. Hey, it's a learning experience. So here we go. We see a couple of vehicles coming up. 
that just means one thing. We're gonna try to cut them off with the HA. Let's see if we get any kills there. Nope, we missed that one. We're gonna smoke and retreat because there's an ATGM vehicle firing away at us. Now this Abram, I was hoping that we would have line of sight on that BMP. But uh, unfortunately we don't. We do spot a Conkers here. That is a good target for us to try to take out. So I move up my Abrams back and forth. But there's just one too many ATGM squads there. One BMP and two Conkers. We just go into neutral. Yeah, so two Conkers and a BMP too. Um, not something you really want to push with a tank, especially if you don't see them. Ready to attack, control. Speaking of seeing, we did spot some radar AA, so we fly in the Wild Weasel to try to snipe it, but unfortunately unsuccessful. And we're just going to eat that ATGM and then move into cover. So um, yeah, right side is, uh, is going to be kind of a hot spot at some point. Not yet though. But it's very weakly defended, and American was floating, I think, like 2,000 points at this point. I'm not quite sure. Um, that is not good. If you're floating points, you're wasting time. You gotta use your points. Beware. Just buy Beware. anything. More tanks, more infantry, more AA. Buy some artillery, start arting stuff. You know, help your teammates. This guy is fighting alone against two people here. And he's doing it quite well. Um, so I keep pointing out that this force needs to be taken by American. So he does move up quite a lot of infantry, finally. MiG-29 destroyed very nicely by, I believe, the Mistral combo there, so that's nice. Let's see what else we're purchasing. So we're getting some more Fireteam Dragons, three of those guys. And uh, we got some uh, artillery coming out as well, so two M109s and a TOW-2. TOW-2 is going to basically try to unload over here somewhere and start harassing these tanks. So BMP-2 is moving in. Definitely want to save that sniper team. Call him back with that, moving the AT team up instead. And we do also have that Bradley. And that explains how they're seeing everything. There's an MI-8 recon there. Here we go. Finally got an engagement over here. Man, our teammate is holding like a champ though. We gotta give it we gotta give him that. Yep, look at that. Just one taps a plane. Those are absolutely insane, though. It did manage to destroy one, though. So, honestly, kind of worth it. Here we go. Bradley versus BMP2. We fired the ATGM first. And that's a direct kill. Modestrelaki almost takes us out, though. We immediately smoke right on time. But we still do get clapped. That was a very sad engagement there. I hate losing Bradleys. Because they're so good. Another seed run, Tor destroyed, very nice. Survived a Strela. Looks like he's... Oh, nope, he's dead. Manpad got him. But those Krugs, man, they're good. But hey, a Tor was destroyed, so that was kind of worth it. So we get the uh, four Bradleys up on the flank, because I really want to make a push from here. Because I bet it's not really that defended. Yep, town is pr practically empty. Just one tank, four Bradleys will take that out easily. The GRU might be an issue if I just run up infantry, but most of it is usually, well, most of the time, it's put into that industrial complex. But that's why I'm uh, trying to go around that area. So American has uh, relieved the teammate here in the middle by taking over that force. That kind of helps it out. Helps out our teammate by just making the approach to the town a one-way road, or a, a singular road, instead of uh, having, you know, two roads to cover. So that makes it easier for our teammate. So we got some artillery raining down on top of that tank. We made him fall back with the M109s. So that's good. He's above that hill now. And let's see what else we're targeting. Alright, so we're moving this guy away first. I believe we target this T80BV next. I'm not sure though. We'll keep an eye on that. So, this is also something you shouldn't really do. Like push too aggressively with units that are practically useless. Unless you're trying to just spot the enemy. But other than that, that is not going to do you any favors. So don't push up if you have a good position. Just keep buying units to defend what you do have. Alright, so at this point, you do see that we're putting a smoke mission down, but we're going to actually cancel that because we want to use the Bradleys as fire support. And smoke works both ways. So you don't want to smoke what you want to attack sometimes. If you don't have fire support, sure, smoke it away. 
SU-24 coming in. We call out an Eagle to try to deal with that. That does uh, cause some deaths there. Yeah, we lose that AT team. Is that Commander dead as well? No, Commander is fine. We took some damage, but it could have been much worse. Eagle did good there. Let's see what kind of hits we get with the Artie. Oh, the Strela got messed up a little bit. Ooh, Strela got messed up pretty good. I don't think that's going to be a kill, though. Nope, never mind. We got a Strela. Very nice. They got two fobs. Jeez. We got one fob. We, we just got my fob. But here we go. The push begins. We call in an Apache. Gonna put it on neutral mode for now. And an Apache usually triggers an uh, anti-air response by the enemy. So they call in the MiG-23 to try to deal with it. Most of the time, you will survive these engagements. Even if that missile hits, you will survive by just a little bit. So it's a good bait. And we're just gonna immediately land this guy. And uh, deal with that plane with other means. But we do have supplies here. So we're gonna put this, put this girl down straight away. That's going to be not a moment too soon. And we managed to take that out. But that was pretty much perfect. Okay, so as you can see now, now they're really flooding that area. Um, which is not great for our infantry, but we are going to keep moving in. We're going to get the Bradleys up on that edge. There's a lot of ATGM vehicles here, BMP2s, T80s, and Conker's vehicles. Um, so I really needed this Apache up there, but uh, we are fixing it. So Bradleys are a go. I wonder how many other Bradleys uh, this guy sees. Okay, he sees all of them. Let's keep it in neutral for the moment. We do destroy a good amount of them. One BMP is destroyed. This next salvo is going to destroy that one. T-80 is hit by the tow too, so that's perfect. We might lose a Bradley here. Nope, almost did though. But this salvo is definitely going to destroy it. Yep, there goes that. So Toe 2 going at it. Ooh, good hit on that. That is 1 HP. There goes that Conqueror's vehicle. So far, so good. We got a seaplane to kind of check out what's going on here, but we really need that AT Gym um, Apache to get to work. But hey, at least the Toes are doing really good. Other Conqueror's destroyed, BMP destroyed, Tungushka got hit. Not killed though. But with that, we move up the Apache and try to deal with that T80 because uh, we just need some extra firepower right now. So there goes that T-80. Really nicely, just one-tapped. T-055s are not going to be a problem either. And we have plenty of Hellfires. And, on top of that, the commander is buffing this guy up. So he has insanely accurate Hellfires right now. So, the Toe 2 was getting attacked there. Luckily, uh, we did move it on time. And we see that MiG-29 now... At this point, I'm trying to just keep this Apache alive, so I go really far with our Eagle and just try to get this guy out of the game. And uh, we do manage to make him evacuate, but we're probably going to lose this thing now. Yep, there goes that. But worth it, because the Apache can keep doing its job here. So another Hellfire going for the TO-55. There goes another one. That guy did pretty good. And this push is going pretty good in general. But that Osa, though, that Osa is not fun. That's going to be a bit of a painful engagement there, unless he misses and we manage to destroy it, which we did. I didn't even notice that. Beautiful. So all in all, that fight is going really, really well. We do have some additional units here, two Abrams that we just pulled out of the tree line because they already did. We have some recon. We have another Chaparral. Sniper team is uh, back there. Not really seeing an awful lot, to be very honest. For some reason. Um, but it is there in case they do something. So we call in another Apache. We move up the uh, four units that we have here. The four soldiers. Try to keep a toehold in there. And we do move in an H.A. Abrams as well. So the other units we're calling in is just a bunch of infantry. Lots of fire teams, AT or Dragon teams, one in Bradley's, and then a couple of supply trucks. So we spot the enemy, one is just a UAZ, other one a Pumachiki, so that's going to be quite easy to deal with. But, 
a tank is not fun, especially if we're on 1 HP there. So the Toe 2 here, unfortunately, does get taken out. That was a really nice unit to have there, but uh, yeah, spotted by anything in this area. Um, it's, yeah, GRU right there. So that doesn't help. Another one there. And a bunch of AT gems still. Three Conquer squads. It's quite intense. So uh, we decide to just shove in a command, hopefully just to capture it because, well, we are leading for now. But as you can see, right side is just not defended at all. And, um, yeah, now there's a push coming right. And I believe at this point, American told me he was floating like a gazillion points. But we told him to just buy whatever you can. Buy tanks, infantry, anti-air recon. You can never have enough of any of those. Spend your points, guys. You're not taking them to the next game, so spend it. So artillery coming down. Not sure if he saw this command move up. He probably did. And here we go. We're moving up the sniper, which finally spots the enemy. But uh, we're gonna lose that because of that push, though. Enemy at three o'clock high. He sighted at twelve o'clock. Ooh, A ten actually made it. He's probably gonna get shot out. This guy now, though. We got a man down. I don't know if he would survive any of the uh, the big AA missiles. He might. He might survive one hit. So before the Sapri get in there, I'm just trying to decap this area in the hope that they don't have a command in there, but as you can see, they do. But hey, this at least keeps us plus one. Now it's plus three. And we're gonna keep that in there for as long as we can. So M113 spotting the Igla. Really nice to use a 50 cal vehicle like that on something like this. That's perfect. We destroy that thing and then we move in the Apaches. Because we just want to keep this in our hands for as long as possible. Two Tungushkas and our Wild Weasel is just not doing anything this game. Really disappointing uh, performance by him. Here we go, missile out. And uh, it's a miss. Is not doing it. So yeah, right side is about to get attacked. American using his uh, French tanks out in the open, which is also not a good idea against T-80s or T-72s, because you barely have any armor. Uh, these are more of a CQC kind of tank. But he's trying. He's moving some more units in. But it doesn't really get pretty. So the Abrams... Just trying to hold it down for as much for as long as he can and at this point we do decide to push the industrial zone a bit more So we unload some fire teams These are just gonna move in towards that industrial complex and Then uh, we're gonna have our Abrams and Bradley's as fire support So we move in the HA and the regular M1A1 try to blast that conquers I'm just gonna keep it up Yep, SV-25 did come in. One more kill. We lost one of our Apaches there, but we got the MiG-29 at least. Be careful. Enemies nearby. Down in yes, Captain. Come on now, don't get stunned. We barely do any damage on that. Ah, yeah, hit. they got garrisoned really well. Yes, That's sir. just not doing anything. We definitely need some rockets or multiple auto cannons. I feel like that does more damage on garrisoned units. So as you can see, yeah, right side is just getting overrun. Like in the easiest way possible. Very sad. These should have been bought like half an hour ago pretty much. But it's okay. Hey, we learned. Abram's still trying to destroy that conquers. It's taking way too long. I don't get why it's taking that long. To do anything. There we go. One of the two is destroyed finally. But now there's artillery. And uh, we do lose one tank due to that. Because this is just taking ages. So at this point we have our air cav troopers. These guys are going to be tasked with taking this over. 
they're moving in. T playing being called out by me. Again, doesn't really do much. I might just take those out completely, if I'm honest with you guys. Hey, we do finally take out the, the Conquerors, though. There's that. There we go. We're just getting all of our infantry at this point. So if we just go into neutral mode, let's see what the enemy has. There's a couple of tanks, two T-80s moving up. Best nice GRU there engaging our fire team. Not a good toss up in a 1v1 for sure. Um, but we do have some Bradleys that we have, so we're going to move them in. And these fire teams against two tanks, eh, you know, simply just not really enough. So that's not going to be too fun for our units there. But look at the amount of units we're forcing to go left. So we are keeping one person completely occupied here. If we were to just defend, um, they would just double team or maybe even triple team middle. And we would, if we lose the middle on this map, you lose the game because from there they can just force, uh, force out and just take over the rest of the map. So right side is just in shambles. Uh, it's uh, two people focusing there because middle they just kind of gave up or given up. The right side is really not looking good. Um, so UDT is helping out a little bit, but uh, most of the game he kind of isn't. Hey, we got some good hits on the T-80s. We also have our artillery raining down on this position here, the two M109s. But the two tanks are quite badly damaged, which is nice for us. And the Bushmasters is beautiful. There's the artillery again. Very good hits on those guys. Look at that. On one HP. I wonder if the Artie got one of them. Oh yeah, we did. Beautiful. Oof, Jesus. I mean, at least the seat plane is good at like spotting their entire air. Like that's about the only useful thing about the Wild Weasels. They used to be good, I don't know. I used to just be very lucky with them, I guess. Ooh, BMP destroyed. Tungushka getting fired at by the Bradleys. That is huge, actually. And there... I was gonna say there goes that, but nope. So upon seeing Sapris, what I do is I just immediately drive vehicles into them. Because they don't have anti-tank weapons. And with that, we also have our command moving in. We need to keep that plus one, or at least a plus, because we're losing the right side, and that is not gonna get any better. Over here, H.A. Abrams got artied, but he's still alive. We're moving our air cav units in. Quite capable units, with two M60s each, and we have more on the way. Yeah, the artillery was going for the anti-air, but unfortunately, uh, they moved them. They did spot our command unit, unit though. That kind of sucks. But hey, we're winning the town fight. Spetsnaz is getting clapped. Calf troopers are doing really, really good. HA is still alive. Wonder... Probably just forgot about this guy, so we're not supplying him yet. But we're keeping the Apache here just to keep like most of the armor away from this area. So yeah, right side, I just... Uh, I just wonder how that even happened, but it was a double team. But there's, again, not really much you can do, but we did have a huge lack of units there. SU-25 incoming for the HA Abrams. That's just not going to end well. But we do lose that. Luckily, we do manage to get a hit on him at least. So that's going to be out of commission for some time. But he wants more. So we get two eagles. He got a little bit too hungry there. And we destroy that. That's a decent trade. Oof, man, both of those eagles got hit. That could have been really bad. Double cubs over there. UDT comes in with an A10 that just gets doinked immediately. Yikes. 
double hit by a cub and uh, I believe a Tungushka got some hits in too. But hey, we got the, uh, you know, the buildings over here under somewhat control. But that is kind of our uh, opening again. And this guy is microing his AA quite well. But yeah, right side is just getting flooded more and more. Um, I don't think supplies are the main problem there, so it's also a bit of a bit of a priority issue there on the right side. But hey, the command got destroyed. The enemy can, uh, actually no, he just moved back to his old spot, and uh, we're just gonna keep pushing here. So we're getting more command units. We're getting a fire team there, more tanks. We got more toes coming up. We have our artillery firing away because we spotted that Tungushka back there. And here we go, two Itos going at it. One on the command. Almost hit him. Hit him really well. That landed really close to them. Ooh, that cub might get destroyed, I don't know. Looks like he's moving. Yeah, no, he's out. He's safe. But that is not. So command tank is or command vehicle is destroyed. That is perfect. Good timing for our leader team to get in there. That Sapri is not so much of a good timing. But that uh, Abrams team is... That Abrams is not going to care about that Sapri. So this guy is in a perfect position here. Although, very low on HE. Or HP. And he is probably dead. If we didn't smoke. So we are still plus one. If you just look on the minimap, they're still encroaching upon the next zone. And I was just completely flabbergasted that this was happening. But uh, American does have the good idea now, just to keep these AMXs here in the defensive position and clap whatever comes up that hill. A very good job on that. Uh, but we're gonna quickly focus on the left because now things are going on here. So we're fully capping the left, putting it plus three. And with that, only three and a half minutes left for a victory, so we just gotta hold. We gotta hold this. Even if we don't win, we just gotta hold for 13 minutes. So let's see what else we're purchasing. So we got a couple of uh, Bradley recons coming up. Another command tank. Another command tank. Two command, oh, two regular tanks. We're just full on going open field attack here. We can take some Conqueror's hits to the face. Ooh, the MP2 destroyed. Very nice. Another one. Is he going to even unload that? Nope, that's three destroyed before he managed to unload it. Beautiful. Good artillery hits on that forest there. Those tanks are not having a good time. We might lose one Abrams here though. I wonder if we smoked in time. Yes, we did. Toe 2 hit to the face. Beautiful. That's gonna fall back. I just love that one ones We did lose one tank there, but let's see if this Toe 2 hits. That's a side shot. Beautiful. Gorgeous game so far. Another good hit. That took like 2 HP off, I think. Let's see if this Totu manages to land a hit there. Nope. And we got side shot by the Conquerors. That hurts. But luckily we can back off from that. So left side going really well. Um, I'm just pushing super aggressively because the right side is not doing good. Middle is getting pushed again by a huge force. So I am just trying to keep our lead at least alive on the left. Because if we lose that... We might actually lose the game, because then it's going to be like plus six or seven tick. So yeah, that would give them one point, another one and a half points, so let's say like three points. Yeah, that would make them plus three at least, I think. I don't know the math on uh, contesting a three point position, because you don't have 1.5 points, if that makes sense. But yeah, so that just neutralized the game. But that's just how that works, I guess. Because that's the uh, the plus three tick we had. So that's gonna be painful. So now we just hope to uh, to win by the game just ending. Let's go into neutral mode real quick. So they really don't have much here. We destroyed most of it. There's that one conquers, which is not good for our health. There's one tabs Bradley's like like no tomorrow. So we just smoke. So what I was trying to do is just get this Abrams into the next zone. It could have worked if I just smoked off bits on the road, I guess. 
but I was I was kind of in a hurry. But you can do things like that, so don't uh, hold yourself back from trying it, okay? And in any case, it's uh, redirecting these BMP2s. So we do um, very briefly get a command back in on the right, putting us plus two. So this is just what we have to do for the moment. Um, but that's going to get doinked by the T8M. And this uh, Abrams is getting destroyed by the SU-25. And there goes that. But yeah, right side, T8M destroys that command tank. That is a very sad, very sad moment. But we do have a pretty good position on the left. It's actually quite nice. So just, oops, going back into our POV here. We're calling out the last of our regular troops. We got some uh, flash units coming in. I call out two more wild weasels to try and spot any of their radar AA. So we fire away at a Tunguski. Finally managed to get a hit, but then we get destroyed by the big ol' anti-air over there. Very sad times. Yeah, those Krugs. Man, they're dangerous. Those are those missiles are massive. Those missiles are not okay. So um, yeah, we decide to help out on the right side a little bit. So we got two command tanks, or one command tank and two regular tanks moving up. We have a uh, cluster MLRS firing at the BTR, together with artillery from our teammate here, UDT, in the hopes that we manage to destroy that. But he moves out of there right on time. Lucky bastard. But UDT is doing good at contesting this area. I'm, I'm giving it. I'm giving that to him. He's doing really good. He's holding it down. He's sacrificing a lot of airborne <laughs> in doing so. But hey. Whatever works, right? We're coming in with a couple of bombing runs here. Not the best bombing run, but hey, it did mess, mess up a couple units. And we have Americans Berlin Light Rifles over here. They should be able to deal... Yeah, they're going to deal with these T-55s easily. The Law 80 will just one-tap most of those. So that should be fine. So you do notice that there's a bit of smoke. And I think that is because they want to capture it again. Or at least... Have it contested. But that's going to be quite hard to do. We have a lot of toes here. Anything that moves out will have to be continuously smoked for it to be able to stay there. Um, so left side, I'm honestly not even worried about too much. So we're helping out on the right. So we got our H.A. Abrams just blasting away. We have our command tank moving in. He's just tasked with moving in and smoking. So yeah, as you can see, they have 14 minutes left for victory. Um, so if they capture the left or neutralize the left, they will actually win before the timer runs out. Or most likely get a draw. And that's not what we want. We gotta, we gotta keep contesting these areas. There you go. So now it's only plus one. So there you go. Multiple cluster bombers coming in. Two clusters and one HE. We're trying to get the eagles on them. But uh, that is quite a lot of firepower. So the eagles coming in. We managed to get a hit on one of them. That one does not manage to drop. One of them does manage to drop. But off target, because we moved our tanks away, so that is perfect. And do they lose all of these planes? Oh, they lost two of them. And the Krugs are out of ammo. So we might... Nope, we did not survive. Very unfortunate. But that's fine. That's fine. We are still contesting it. We just need to hold for six minutes. So at this point... We just tell um, American with, with the Harrier just to go for the T-8M. But poor Harrier just gets doinked by the R-73. And he's not happy about it. One bit. So on the left, the plan of the enemy is uh, evolving. The T-80BVK is moving into the zone. Almost got side shot by the TOW-2. That would have been, uh, been a treat. Ooh, let's see who wins that one. Yeah, we won that one. Both of them hit, but the tow 2 just did a bit more damage. Look at that. So BMP2 versus uh, Bradley. tow 2 will win. Who would have known? So yeah, we're just forced with keeping the command in here. Although it is the most 
unsafe plan there is. But upon seeing the MI-24, we do fall back. Just to keep the command alive for the moment. Because we got 5 minutes, they need 12. And there's a pretty good chance we can still destroy this command tank. And a TOTU for a UAZ. Now that is a bit expensive. That smoke is taking forever. That's pretty good. It might be from the Acacias, although there's also mortars coming up now. Ooh, conquers on the uh, M1A1. That is... wow, that was a near miss. Yep, there's fresh artillery coming up to smoke it. That's pretty good. At this point, we do decide to push up, though. Try and do some damage on these units so we get uh, a near hit. ATGM at the BMP2, very nice kill. That should deal with that conquers. Yep, yeah, there goes that. And now we just push up everything. Right on time as well, because we're getting gratted. Exactly where our tank blob was. I'm trying to find, find this T-80 BVK. T-80 spotted. Everything is gonna just open up on that. Including our command tank. A nice AT gem hits. That was beautiful. Oh. Got absolutely destroyed. We also do still have that Apache, and I'm actually surprised at the lack of infantry or uh, anti-air they have here. This guy could have done a lot more damage if I moved him up a bit more. And that T-80 is not happy, Bob. So we got three minutes left. I'm just trying to take over our zone again, because I don't want to have a draw out of this. But we're pushing that T-80 hard. And that smoke is going to be gone any moment now. But then they just re-smoke it. Very sad. Props to them for uh, keeping that dude, this tank safe though. Man, look at all the planes. This is going to be a very painful moment. I should have just kept moving this guy in. All these tanks towards that command tank. Our AA is also very weak. Everything is kind of weak. We, I am out of infantry or anything at this point. Quite literally we were out of everything. I wonder why I didn't use my cluster on this. Hmm. Might have just forgotten. Actually, I was busy on the right side. Okay, that makes sense. Because we spotted that command tank on the right. So the plan is party it and then move in our command. So they're plus five. They got four minutes of victory. We have one minute twenty left. But I think at this point we do think or realize that we're probably okay. But you can never be too sure, you know? So we open up, we blast that command tank with everything we got. We see him thanks to the Alouette over there. And with that we move in our tank. There we go, that's a kill. And that is actually the only command unit they have in there. So we smoke it off, and that's gonna reduce them to plus 3 from plus 5. That is actually going to enable us to fully cap this, because the other command is still a bit outside the zone. And with only 30 seconds left, that will uh, seal the deal for us. 
And there we go. Perfect. Look at that. Just like that, they're only plus one. But we're, we're gonna lose that command for sure. But it don't matter. It's about sending a message, okay? Oh yeah, I could have used that uh, cluster over there instead. That was pretty good. That was a rough fight. I think uh, everyone learned quite a bit. Most kills there. Most conquest points by UDT. Least losses by American, but also... He was having just a hard time playing against too. But that was it, guys. Go through the kill list here. Not really that intense. M109 got a lot of stuff, actually. Oof. Yeah, Cluster got some kills. But yeah, that was it. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys back in the next one. Take care.